This is all that's left of that walnut tree that stood more than 100 feet high right here. But what was inside that tree is what's now really where the story begins. Well, when you see a tree that's two, three hundred years old, I mean, you know, they've been here a lot longer than we have, so, you know, it's hard to take them down. Jeff Easton tackled this job like any other from the top down and right away made some unusual finds. This was uh, one of the limbs that was in the tree. Uh, it's got chains embedded in it. Many hand forged and very old. Once they were taken out, the whole tree pulled to the ground. Jeff started splitting the logs for firewood and to sell timber to Ellen K. Hardwoods, which runs a mill and makes furniture. And in the middle of doing that, this plopped to the ground. But I, I had no idea this was in there. I, you couldn't see it. You couldn't see a hole in the log. He instantly recognized the small, heavy object as a Civil War era cannonball. I was like, are you kidding me? He immediately called the property owner, Randall Pratt. It's thrilling. Pratt is a history buff. He grew up in this historic neighborhood and is the proud owner of the Overfeld Johnson home built in 1850 and is working to restore it. This actually is not the first cannonball found on the property. The first cannonball that we know of is now in the Jackson County Historical Museum and was shot into the window on the second floor on the left of this house. But this one, buried in a tree that stood for nearly three centuries, is special too. Piecing together more of what unfolded here during the Battle of Independence in 1862. So the Confederates snuck in from two different routes and surprised them, woke them up by gunfire, charged down the hill. And while the Union troops were in disarray, we think that they had plenty of time to fire off some cannon shots. Pratt plans to keep this cannonball with the home, a treasure for future generations who may live here. It's important to find these souvenirs, these novelties from the past, these tragic reminders of what the cost of war and conflict really is. The property owners and everyone involved in this project is now hoping that this story might encourage you to learn a little more about the history in your own backyard. Karamashik, Fox 4 News.